Good morning. So I'm about to, uh, I'm going to start um, a podcast recording on this with my lavalier mic. Welcome. Here we go. All right. We are guns hot. Welcome. I've got my lavalier mic on. So this tiny office is transformed now into a lavatory. Please wash your hands when you leave. This morning, uh, I'm leaving for Texas. And of course, my house will be busy while I'm gone. Always a good feeling. Um, life is not easier when you live in, I guess fancy people would call it living in community. Uh, we just have a huge house and Judy and I live under a sense of mandate to uh, practice hospitality in ways that some people see them as pretty radical, but we see them as scripturally normal. This is the stuff that Jesus was on about. So this is how we live our lives. I, I don't get it, but uh, we've got a Facebook Live up in front of me. I love the interactivity. Um, Luke and I, all we have is an, uh, is an old iPad Pro and an iPhone 10. That is the tech we're working with. Um, this morning, I was thinking about, like, because I woke up and I um, did something that is a bad habit. I checked the stats. We don't really have um, a lot of interesting statistics to look at, but one of the stats that I do check is the excerpts that we are throwing on our uh, Instagram and YouTube, we're able to look at the stats on that and see, you know, is anything growing? And this morning I thought about the six or so years that I've spent really considering what it would mean to do a podcast and to join it in this ocean of information that you all are fielding. And uh, one of the things I saw when I was using this medium to connect with folks who wanted to buy boards from me and when I was platforming my board brand and my my handiwork uh, was that it it scrapes a bit off of you it scrapes a bit off of a person when they commit their voice and their face to the public sphere it really does kind of splits a person into two mindsets at once there always is a consideration of image. There's a consideration of how will it be received. And um, and I, th I was thinking, oh, oh, you know, it'd be hilarious. And probably there are lots of them, videos out there on how to be a broadcaster, podcaster, YouTuber, influencer. I mean, these are tremendously dangerous activities. Um, how to be one without losing your soul. And my immediate thought this morning was, you can't. Like, you do this and you're in, you're in for it. You're going to be in a constant struggle for, to be authentic. You're gonna be in a constant struggle to actually be living truthfully in the moment and that's why six years that's why um, you know I started a board brand because I wanted to I wanted to see a larger conversation yeah you know sounds great um, but I realized uh, you know six years ago that for that larger conversation there's gonna have to be more talking and more showing up and more doing things so I thought, you know, it's a good question. How do you how do you do this stuff and not lose your soul? Well, you have to. Uh, I, I've got the Book of Proverbs open in front of me. Um, a great habit that I don't have is to read Scripture every day. Wise people, smart people through the ages have done it. The the wisdom of the Scripture has been super influential in some of the very best ideas ever. But I, um, you know, today's the ninth, and I would normally pop it open and read the ninth day. 
because Proverbs is 30 uh, long, but I, I open instead to Proverbs 30, which is one of my favorite passages, and I'm going to I'm going to share it with you guys because sharing it with you will put it in listen I'll put me in listening mode to hear it again. I need to hear it as many times as I can. So um this is uh a translation of the Hebrew ancient text attested to through archaeology to be really quite ancient, authentic and reliable textually, compellingly so. It's a crazy book. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 30, the words of Agur, the son of Yaqeh, his utterance. And um, you know, here's an interesting uh, point I have to stop already because in this, uh, in this translation, it, it, it does something that I, I'm kind of bummed about. I'm going to check in here and see. I've got another translation of the Bible handy, uh, Proverbs 30. I, I remember as a kid, I had a study Bible that had it all in there. This one seems to gloss the passage over. The way it's translated here is this man said to Ithiel, to Ithiel and Ukel. Um, but another translation of that is, I'm so tired. Oh God, I'm tired and weary. <laughs> and the reason it has these two is, um, has to do with texts and translations and features like that increase my confidence that this is real uh, not just in the can bottled stuff but it, a chapter that starts off with I'm tired oh god I'm so tired and weary is an awesome chapter for me and then then it goes on and there's no textual differences on this part here this it's just gonna cook this is Proverbs 30 verses 2 and following Listen to this. <laughs> Sometimes you got, but uh, yeah, Facebook crapped out for a second, but I'm, you're still with me here. So it says, surely, Proverbs 32 and following, surely I am more stupid than any man and do not have the understanding of a man. I neither learned wisdom nor have knowledge of the Holy One. immediately I'm encouraged <laughs> because <laughs> if this book is for anyone it's for me surely I'm more stupid than any man and do not have the understanding of a man <laughs> I have neither learned wisdom nor have knowledge of the Holy One and I just love it because Self-righteousness cannot survive in this environment. This this book is this is a king. This is a this is a a magnate of of the wisdom of the ages. You know, he's he's uh and enshrined in the text of holy writ, and he's giving voice to a sentiment that really grounds me every day. It's not that I think I'm actually stupid, and I know he didn't think he was stupid either. It's that we know that we're so little, and we know that there's more that we don't know than we do. And then it continues on. Who has ascended into heaven or descended? Who has gathered the wind in his fists? Who has bound the waters in a garment? Who has established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if you know? And that's an intense passage because it was written hundreds and hundreds of years before the, uh, before the uh, Galilean incident. <laughs> and here's uh, verse 5. Every word of God is pure. He is a shield to those who put their trust in him. Do not add to his words, lest he rebuke you and you be found a liar. That's just an intense thing for God people. You know, we, we get turned on to God and we come to Jesus or, you know, get born again or get baptized or however we're, we're working it out, walking it out. 
us God kids. And I'm a, I'm a Jesus kid for sure, 100%. Or, well, okay, up to, up to 75% of my best moments. And, and, um, people add to his words. I just, you know, I gotta just keep hearing. This is how not to lose your soul. It's not only about being a social media person or a, a podcaster, it's also about being an engineer or a mechanic. We lose our souls so quickly. We lose our, you know, we get crazy. We really do. Verse 7, Proverbs chapter 30. Two things I request of you. Deprive me not before I die. Remove falsehood and lies far from me. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food allotted to me, lest I be full and deny you, and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and profane the name of my God. So here in Proverbs chapter 30, you know, I'm about to get in a car and drive out to Texas and I'm going to be podcasting, I'm going to be filming. And the question I asked myself this morning was, how do you not lose your soul? And I've been, I've been looking into this for about six years. And I realized, like, you can't. But then I opened my daily Proverbs, which I don't read every day. I'm not, I'm not, I, I have, I'm afraid to portray myself as more, you know, than I am. But here in Proverbs 30, verses 1 through 9, in a passage that started out, Surely I am more stupid than any man, and do not have the understanding of a man. I found grounding to maybe increase the durability of my own grip on my own soul as we go into this wilderness of broadcasting and conversations and thinking and talk, 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 yap, yap, yap. Um, so, I mean, it is really a mess. And um, well, it's time for me to go. It's 7.20 in the morning and I'm gonna get on the road and I'm going to be filming more stuff, of which I do. I love to share skateboarding, and I love to share time with people. So thank you for your time listening. Please become a patron on our Podbean podcast. It's Captain Lou at uh, Captain Lou dot Podbean. Um, Facebook's back. If you're listening to me on Podbean, thank you for listening, and um, we'll be up on Apple Podcasts soon. We're working out Spotify, and uh, grateful for all the folks who have become patrons and are helping us to get to some of the basic goals that we have to um, maybe be more than a four-year-old iPhone and a four-year-old uh, iPad. But in the meantime, Let's just remember how stupid I am. All right. Thanks, y'all. Hey, thank you all for being with me, and uh, I'll be back at you soon. For what it's worth, Captain Lou. I've uh, stopped the Podbean recording now. It's just us on Facebook. Good morning, Laura. I'd like to greet each of you. Hopeton, thanks for being here. Johnny Davidson, I miss you. Uh, Scott Laughlin, man, I love you, dude. Thanks for being here. Scott George, good morning. And uh, Eric Sanders, thanks for joining. David Hall, thanks all for being here. Paul Lane, I love uh, that you guys. John Ryan Zander, blows my mind. Thank, uh, thanks to all you who joined me today. Please, uh, you know, we, we hosted over at Podbean because uh, it's, as far as we can tell, we have a lower chance of just being erased from the record there. Uh, we don't want there to be constraints on how we ask questions and what we say. And we feel those constraints, you know, when you think of professionally, when you think of professionally working in media, and then you see that you'll have to depend on these mechanics that, these mechanisms that are super volatile um, and real needs for income. And we're going um, sorry, uh, it's the tech. 
but um, we, we, we need support from people. And I would ask if you're going to support us and you get mad because we do or don't say something or we say something too hard or too soft, um, I would ask that you would know beforehand that, yeah, we, we are definitely not all that. And I'm certain that as much as we want to uh, help, um, we probably, probably are going to be pretty weak on certain things. But this morning, thanks for sharing this time with me. Um, and uh, if you pray, pray for me. Pray for Luke. We're working hard. And uh, I think it's going to be good. I do. And I don't think I'm going to lose my soul. I don't think that I'm actually going to uh, lose my mind uh, or my marriage or any of that sort of thing. I don't. Um, I think that this is going to be challenging and rewarding. And I think we might pull off a caper and not not become um, narcissistic idiots as we make more and more content. It can be done. And I don't mean to accuse other people of that. It just it happens a lot. It's a basic liability. So for what it's worth, Captain Lou.